What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel and happy Memorial Day. If you celebrate the holidays, hopefully you are enjoying your time off. If you don't celebrate the holidays, hopefully you're having a good day as always. But we are rocking out with an Ice Rider Calyrex and Gargonackle team for ranked Regulation G. Should be a lot of fun considering I haven't used Gargonackle since the early seasons of Scarlet and Violet. And I absolutely love this Pokemon due to Salt Cure and Purifying Salts. Love it so much. But Ice Rider Calyrex is going to be our main restricted Pokemon, which is the Pokemon I want to talk about first. Has the As One ability and its best item, the Clear Amulet. Furthermore, it's got that Fire Terror type, nice little defensive Terror type on this Pokemon, with Glacial Lance, Trick Room, Close Combat, and Protect. Another Pokemon that I think is really cool on this team is going to be Hydrogrind. Haven't used this Pokemon in a good bit. It has Levitate and the Cobra Cloak, Rocket Drake, Meteor Snarl, Tailwind for Speed Control, and last but not least, Rocking Out with Protect. Three other Pokemon on today's team feature Fluttermane, Heatran, and Rillaboom. Don't really want to talk about Fluttermane or Rillaboom considering you guys have seen them plenty of times before. But Heatran's over here with Flash Fire and the Soul Vest. Heat Wave, Flash Cannon, Scorching Sands, and Terra Blast. Great solid attacking moveset. Got a lot of different coverage moves on this team. Our final Pokemon is going to be that Gargonackle. Like I said, love this Pokemon so much because it looks like Steve from Minecraft stacked up a bunch of cobblestone blocks and built this guy. It's got Purifying Salts with the Mental Herb as item, Rock and Salt Cure, Helping Hand, Y Guard, which is top tier in Regulation G, and last but not least, it has Recover to recover its own HP. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, and if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop to our first match showcasing this Calyrex and Gargonackle team. Going up against a really cool off-meta Lunala team with one of my favorite Pokemons of all time, Excadrill. Furthermore, they got the Dene, they got Hisuian Typhlosion, Azumarill, and they also have Mousehold with Lunala. Lunala is going to be the restricted Pokemon, but from here, I feel like we could just pop Trick Room with our boy right here, right? With Calyrex. Go Calyrex, and I like Rillaboom here just to fake out and get off that Trick Room, which could be really good. And then we can go into like Gargonackle, or I could just lead Gargonackle. Like looking at their team, they don't have a fake out user. I feel like Trick Room should be pretty easy for us to get off. So I kind of just want to go into both of them, right? Gargonackle, Calyrex, Pop Trick Room, kind of start throwing Salt Cures around. I like that. I can get down for that. In the back end, we could go Fluttermane just because Fluttermane's speed late game could be really clutch for us with Shadow Ball. Or I can just hold off and maybe go into a Pokemon like Heatran and Rillaboom. I kind of like that too. I got Flash Fire on you. That works well. That does work well. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. I like that. So really the Pokemon that I'm worried about is going to be Lunala here with Shadow Shield and going into like Meteor Beams. That does look really scary. But I feel like if I could just pop Trick Room and just start throwing Salt Cures around, that'd be my best interest, right? That would definitely be my best interest. Yeah, I like it. I like what we're doing here. Just got to watch out for that Lunala. Definitely maybe should have led somebody else, but I don't know. I like this lead, especially if I can get off the Trick Room. I can just get after it that way, which I like. We have Y Guard in case double hitting moves for like Hitsuing Typhlosion. He wants to erupt or something like that. Then we can just go into that. But I like I like our lead here. I like it. And they're gonna go into Hitsuing Typhlosion. Okay. That's fine by me. So follow me might come out here. We're gonna Y Guard and Trick Room here. We are so Y Guard and Trick Room. Or I can just Terra Fire if I wanted to. I could just Terra Fire. And just pop the Trick Room. Yeah, I get down with that. I get down with that, and I can go for a Salt Cure here. Yep, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pop a Salt Cure in this Pokemon. I'm just gonna Terra Fire instead of going for a Y Guard. Let's get off some value with Gargonackle here early. So we're gonna go for a Salt Cure. This Mousehold is looking to be not Pop Bomb Mousehold. This is looking to be probably Specs Typhlosion, right? And he just wants to erupt. So this just might be like a follow me play for him. Which I mean, I don't mind because then I could just start spamming Glacial Lance, which would be in our best interest. And if it is Specs, I mean, I can always just wide guard next turn if I really want to. Depending on how much damage it's going to do here. I mean, we got a great Terror type right here for Calyrex, so I'm going to use it. They're going to go for Helping Hand. Yeah, this is definitely... I should have wide guarded, but... I mean, I love our typings here. Helping Hand, Choice Specs. Oh, no, it's just going to be Flamethrower. It's a good thing I didn't wide guard. Lovely. Solid turn for us. Solid turn for us. We end up Salt Curing you. We get off a free Trick Room. I can now just Helping Hand and just start boosting damage here. If I would like. Salt Cure's gonna chunk up some damage, some good damage, which is great for us. Now we're sitting in a beautiful position. I like where we're sitting. Nice, lovely damage onto him. I got Trick Room out and about. And from here, I'm just gonna go Glacial Lance. 
I'm going to pop a helping hand. Give me no reason not to. You give me no reason not to go helping hand into Glacial Lands. Mouse Hole could be Sash, a little scary on that end, but I like your position because honestly, I think this Glacial Lance with the Helping Hand boost will take out Typhlosion. Typhlosion is not that bulky, and if not, we still got Salt Cure damage at the end of the turn. It was a solid Terror type on us. They did read the Wide Guard too. I thought it was going to be like an Eruption, but this might be Specs Typhlosion. The good thing I was just like, hey, let's just use our Terror here, play it simple, and get off some turns with Gargonaggle, and it worked out fine. Circum's now out in full effect. I don't think they can cancel it out. And now we got Helping Hand with Calyrex Raid Rock here. And I'm low battery. We'll, 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 we'll figure that out in next battle. We don't have to worry about the low battery right now. But out comes Glacial Lands, bringing you down to Focus Ash. We don't pick up the KO, which is kind of annoying. It's going to Super Fang Calyrex, which kind of hurts. And Flamethrower is going to fire, which you should soak. because not Helping Hand anymore. And you don't, which kind of hurts the soul there. That definitely kind of hurts the soul. So I wanted one more turn on Calyrex. And were you not sashed? Or did you just live on one? It's fine. I, I still kind of like where we're sitting. Salt Cure finishes off Typhlosion. We got Trick Room up, so I can Salt Cure whichever Pokemon I want to next. And I can bring out a Pokemon like Roboom if I want to. Or I could just go into you. Heat Wave down and save her. Fake out. Hmm. Where's my Pike? Who do I think they're going to go into? Maybe Lunala here? I'm just scared of the Super Fang more so than anything, right? I could just go into you and go for a fake out here into... Or I could just Grass God. You know what? Yeah, we're going to go and roll him. We're going to save our Heat Train. Save our lovely little Heat Train. So let's swap into Rillaboom here. Let's see who they end up sending out. It is going to be Excadrill. So Excadrill out on the field. I would love to just fake out, kind of take out that thing. And to be honest, I'm just going to fake out. I'm just going to fake out the mouse hold and get rid of that. I don't feel like dealing with a Super Fang doing a ridiculous amount of damage. So I'm going to fake out you. And I'm just going to throw a Salt Cure into this slot right here. Just got to put that, that Salt Cure effect onto him. Just got to do it. We just got to do it. So we'll fake out the mouse hold looking just to pick up a simple KO onto it. Might just protect. I hope it doesn't protect. But if it does protect, then we can just Grassy Glide the next turn. But obviously, Gargonacle right now is going to be slowest on the field. So... We're still going to put up some Pester damage. Just some Pester damage. And stall out a little bit, right? Salt Cure going to fly here. Going to land on our boy Excadrill. And I believe it does more damage to Steel and Water types, correct? I believe it does. Drill Run's going to fly here. We should soak rather well. Yeah, it does about, actually, almost exactly half. And I get back some HP on the ground. Right so, from here, let's see how much damage Salt Cure actually does to this thing. It does do a bit more. We love that. That's some nice damage. That's some solid damage right there. So we'll see who their final Pokemon is. I would love to... It's probably just Lunal, but I would love to just uh, throw a Salt Cure onto that. Just to pester out some turns. Just to get rid of some turns. So from here, we are honestly just going to go for a Wood Hammer here. Would love to do damage onto that thing. And then just pop a Salt Cure into Lunala. I feel like from here, we just need to... We just need to get the Salt Cure and just chip up some turns here. We just need to do that, and then we can protect and stall out some turns. Because I still have Heatran in the back end with Assault Vest, which is rather well for us. I don't have Protect on it, which kind of sucks. But, it is good news for us. They're going to end up Terrastalizing Excadrill here. Going into straight ground type. Looking for some damage here. Looking for some damage with Drill Run for the KO. Which is actually kind of smart. It is kind of smart. So, we're going to be able to throw Assault here onto Lunala, which is gorgeous. Just stall out some turns. We probably should just grassy glide it, but honestly, Woodhammer is going to fly before he hit this anyway. And we're just going to get rid of Excadrill. See you later, Excadrill. Get on out my face. Get on out my face. Maybe I should just grassy glide it, but I want to make sure that thing died. And it worked out perfectly. It worked out perfectly. We'll take some recoil. We'll see what Lunala wants to go for. And he's just going to go for a Moongeist Beam into my roll boom. And now we're just sitting in a beautiful spot where I can just recover HP with my, with my Gargonacle and just stall out turns, right? That's all we need to do. Just simply stall out turns, let Salt Cure kind of do the thing. Even though, actually, the uh, terrain's helping him out tremendously. The lovely terrain. But as of right now, my boy Rollaboom is faster in this Trick Room than Lunala, so I can go for a free little Wood Hammer here, and... I'm just going to recover here. I'm just going to go back up to full HP. You can be no reason not to. 
and they cancel the battle. So Gargonackle in the Trick Room, Thriving Out, match number one. We grab ourselves a win. So far, so good with Gargonackle. We're hopping into our second match, though, and we're going up against a Zamazenta team that I believe I used before on the channel. It's got Moltres, or I should say Galarian Moltres, Shen Pao, alongside with Rollaboom, Pelipper, and Fluttermane. So from here, obviously, Zamazenta is a defensive bulk. So we're going to need some special attackers in order to get after that. And I kind of like my Heatran here, but the only problem with Heatran is going to be it's typing, right? Body press can do some ridiculous damage. We do have the bug terror type, which honestly isn't too bad. Nice little bug terror type, but a nice little lead for us could potentially be like Fluttermane. I could try to go for Trick Room, which honestly isn't all that bad. Or I could just go into like Gargonackle and just look to be a defensive bulk and just throw some soft gears around. Not bad. We got some speed. Our terror type is Ghost that will help us out with body presses and fake outs. So yeah, honestly, I like this lead right here. We will bring Calyrex in the back end, and last but not least, I do like having... Actually, let's bring Rillaboom instead of Heatran. Let's bring Rillaboom instead of Heatran. Considering if they do end up going into Pelipper, setting the rain, I really don't like Heatran just throwing Heat Waves in the rain, right? I mean, I know we got some other moves, but Heat Waves is its main thing, right? Heat Wave is its main thing. It does have Flash Cannon, but again, Heat Waves is its main thing. They're going to end up going Moltres and Zamazenta. I do actually kind of like this lead here. Actually, do not mind this lead. They could end up going for a body press here into Gargonackle. Um, I feel like we might just want a Terra Ghost here. Terra Ghost is actually scary. You know, let's let's wait let's wait a turn before we throw size. Because if he body presses plus one, it's not going to KO us. So I mean, I think we just throw a Moon Blast here and we go for a Salt here into into Zamazenta slot, right? Because you are Steel. Yeah, you are a Steel type Pokemon. So, yeah, we're just going to go Salt here. We could have went for a Helping Hand Moon Blast, but this actually works fine. So ends up just protecting the Moltres. Are you going for an Iron Defense? That is the real question. We're scared of an Iron Defense. We for sure are scared of an Iron Defense. I definitely am. And he's just going to go for Heavy Slam, which is actually really smart. Heavy Slam on the Zamazetta. This one's so good. It really is. Zamazetta is just an absolute beast. It really is. We do get a Salt Cure up on it, though, which is nice. Um, it's going to be not very effective, but now I could bring out my Calyrex. And I could go for a Trick Room if I want to. I could go for a Trick Room. Salt Cure's gonna work wonders there. So I am gonna go there. I am gonna try to pop the Trick Room. I feel like we need Trick Room. Might want to Terrasalize here as well because Dark Moves, eh, not so good for us. Not so good. So we got Salt Cure already onto that Pokemon. You could be going for Body Press and like Fiery Wrath, but I'm just gonna hit that Terror button. I'm gonna pop Trick Room and from here, I'm just gonna throw Salt Cure over onto Moltres. Definitely in my best interest. Definitely in my best interest to do that. All right, so our Fluttermane dies out early here due to Heavy Slam. No big deal. Gargonacle does put a Salt Cure on the Zamazenta, and I like I like Gargonacle in this format. I like him in all formats. Just being able to stall out turns and kind of go from there just works well. But he's going to end up Terrasalizing his Moltres. He's going to go straight Dark. This definitely leads me to think you're going for, like, Fiery Wrath or something like that. Maybe I should have Wide Guarded here, but I like my bulkiness of my Calyrex. to just be able to soak up these shots and get off Trick Room. But honestly, Fiery Wrath can do some nice damage here. This is looking this is just looking a bit rough. This is looking a bit rough, because dude, with the with the terror type, fiery wrath just does damage, man. It does damage. Luckily this thing isn't plus one on anything. He ends up going for a body press into Gargonacle, which does actually a lot more than I thought it would. Fire Wrath is gonna fly here and Gargonacle is gonna die. Gargonacle dies, but I do get off Trick Room, which is really good. And we still have Salt Cure chipping up damage onto Zamazen. Okay, so not too bad right now. I mean, Calyrex could clutch up for us, but I really wasn't expecting Body Press to do that much damage, right? That's a lot of damage the Body Press just did. A ridiculous amount of damage. It just did. A bit too much damage. I thought it was going to do like half and then we can maybe soak up a Fiery Wrath. But no, it just brought us down to 45 on my defensive bulk Pokemon. <laughs> but hey, we got Roboom. We got Trick Room off, which is good news for us. Um, Salt Cure can chuck up damage. Glacial Lance. Probably in our best interest, I could drop a close combat and just take the speed factor out of here. And what should I do? Because I can just close combat Zamazenta and look for it. Will that even KO? That's my real problem. I'm just going to go for close combat into you, and I'm honestly just going to fake out Zamazenta. He protects Moltres. Smart play. At least Salt is going to chip up a little bit more damage here. At least Salt is going to chunk up a little bit. So we fake out the Zamazenta. 
we end up going for a close combat into the Moltres. He's going to end up blocking it. So they're wasting out some solid trick room turns here. Some solid trick room turns. We get back a little bit of HP, but luckily Salt Cure does so much damage to Zamazenda. It's nice. It's awesome. So there we go. Salt Cure bringing it down low. Okay. So from here, I mean, Glacier Land's probably in our best interest. I am going to send it and... Hmm, I really want to double down into that. Into Zamazena, but you know what? I am just going to go for... I'm just going to go for a wood hammer into Moltres slot. So Glacier Land's going to fly. I don't think this KO Zamazenta. Maybe we get a crit or something. It doesn't even... Not even close, dude. I think it's just so bulky. This thing is now going to Berserk Pop. Robum's going to go next. This wood hammer should KO this Moltres all day. And it does. Cool. So wood hammer takes that out. Zamazenta, what are you doing here? You're scaring me, man. You are so scaring me. I hate this Pokemon. This Pokemon's so good. Go after my Robin, please. Now you're going after Calyrex with Body Press, and we soak decently well. That's good. That's good. So we get back a little bit of HP here. Um, Salt Cure honestly should bring you down close enough to KO, or it should KO you, right? Let's see. How much damage is doing? It does KO. So Salt Cure, from the dead, Gargonacle picks up a KO. Cool. So I think we have... Do we have one turn left in Trick Room or two? I think we should have two, right? We should have two. Gen Pound now comes out here, which is not bad to just grass glide that, and Rillaboom's gonna fly here as well. Rillaboom's gonna have a fake out turn, and then they can just simply protect. Um, hmm. We do have two turns left in Trick Room, and I feel like we have to protect the Calyrex here. So I'm gonna end up protecting Calyrex, and if I can get off a of grass glide just to take off Focus Ash, that is definitely in our best interest. Yeah, they'll do that. So Protect comes out from Calyrex. We're going to hope that they fake out that slot. Which I would think you would, right? To waste out the Trick Room turns. Yeah, and you do. And one Glacier Lance will finish off Robum. Unless you have Protect on Robum, which could be tough news for us. We are able to get off a Grass Sky, which is nice because that damage is phenomenal. Ice Silk Crash going to fly here, and that's going to pick up KO on the Robum. So now we're sitting here with one turn left in Trick Room. One turn left in Trick Room. I love our Terror type here. And if Rillaboom doesn't have Protect, it just dies out here. So I'm going to go for Glacial Lance. We're going to look to get after it. Glacial Lance might honestly KO the Shen Pao too. Shen Pao's a lightweight. Can we clutch up here? This is a solid match. One turn left in Trick Room. I would guess that Shen Pao would protect you, right? And if Rillaboom does have Protect, obviously it would protect. But I'm hoping. I'm hoping Rillab at least Rillaboom doesn't have Protect. That's really what I'm hoping for. That is really what I'm hoping for. You could sucker punch me with Shen Pao. Shen Pao is just going to protect. But you you do allow me to get back some HP, which is nice. It is gorgeous. He ends up going for the Grass Guy just for a little bit of chip damage. And this leads me to think that uh, this game is over, right? I think I think Sucker Punch can finish me off here. So there's that. So we pick up the KO. No, we're now plus one. Now, the real question is, to be honest... To be honest, I could pop a Trick Room, right? If he goes for Sucker Punch, I could pop Trick Room. But, I mean, if you're just spamming Sucker Punches, what does that really do? What does that really do, if you're just spamming that? I could Protect. Just to see what he wants to do, but or I could just go for Close Combat. It, it, it really comes down to if I can win this. I mean, Terrain ends. No, we're just going to protect here. We're just going to simply protect. Just see what he wants to do. He's probably not even Sucker Punch anymore. He's probably going for like a Sacred Sword, which I would honestly rather him do. Do go for Sacred Sword. That's good news. That's good to see because Sacred Sword honestly does less damage than... Than what's it called? Than Sucker Punch. So we get our last turn of HP. That was actually a good protect. And all it comes down to is if we're... If we can soak up a shot. Hopefully you're going for Sacred Sword again. We should soak this. Yeah, all day. You should have went for Sucker Punch. Alright, so it looks like I was worrying about nothing. It really does. So Zamazetta getting the best of us in the beginning of the match, but the back end, I got my Gargonacle, I got my Calyrex in Trick Room. That's game over. Come on, man. That's too easy. Gargonacle killing it so far in Regulation G. We are going up against a Don Dozo team here at match number three, though. Without Tatsugiri, kind of weird, but Don Dozo can thrive out on its own. They also have Miraidon as the restricted Pokemon. Farigarath, Incineroar, great little lead right there. And then they got Whimsicott and Ogre Pond. 
Okay, so from here, obviously they can taunt me with Wimscott, which is kind of scary. They can also fake me out with Incineroar. They do have Intimidate, all that good stuff. But who should I lead here? I could maybe just go like Gargonackle, or I could go into like Fluttermane and Calyrex, which wouldn't be bad. I mean, Intimidate wouldn't affect these guys. I could maybe just go into like Heatran, because Heatran could be solid, and then bring the Trick Room Setter in the back end. That's not bad. I feel like going late game Trick Room could really throw them off, so I like going into both of these. I like that. If they want to fake out my Heatran, they can fake out my Heatran, no big deal. If they want to set up Tailwind, go right ahead. We will have Heatran just to heat wave that one, Scott. Okay, so not bad. Not a bad lead. We will ha we're, we have to play our Trick Room a tad bit differently here, considering if they just go like Ferrigraph or Wimscott, they can either taunt or just cancel out Trick Room with like Imprison. So I'd rather save it for the back end, if that makes sense. So like I can just pull it out later when they don't have their Pokemon and then I can pop it. Or if they're low damage, I could just KO it. They end up going Incineroar and Miraida. Now this lead's pretty good. Now this lead is pretty good, but you cannot fake out my Fluttermane, which is good news. You cannot fake out my Fluttermane. And my Fluttermane is going to outspeed because of, obviously, my booster energy. There it is. Alright, cool. So we have booster energy out. Um, I would think they would want to Terrestrialize that that me ride on right makes the most sense i could honestly just protect you this turn i could honestly just double protect and just waste out the fake out that wouldn't be bad that wouldn't be bad or i could just attack this turn yeah you know i'm gonna double protect and the reason i actually i don't have protect on you i don't have protect on you that kind of hurts so I think Miraidon goes after what's called anyway, Fluttermane anyway. I really do, so I'm just gonna protect them. I'm just gonna protect Fluttermane. I want to double protect because chances are they're going for fake out into Heatran. So my thought process was hey, we'll just uh we'll just double protect here so next turn we can double attack. Because this turn we can only one attack and it would have been Fluttermane. But if I had to guess, you gotta be faking out my Heatran and attacking my Fluttermane. Right? No, you're not even going for fake out, so this is a decent turn for us. This is a decent turn. They just opted to not go for fake out. He scorched his hands down. Gonna fly here. Do decent damage to you. Can we get a burn? That'd be awesome. And then he's gonna U turn out of here. So he U turns Pivot. He uses his, his Intimidate and he swaps out. So now I'm thinking maybe, maybe with that scorching sands damage, we can potentially just Trastalize our Fluttermane and maybe Moonblast KO this Mirada. That'd be nice. That'd be very nice. That'd be very nice. Not anymore considering now you have uh, Tailwind. And honestly, I might just swap into Gargi. We're trying to Volt Switch Pivot. I think we just save our Fluttermane. I think we just save our Fluttermane. We'll go for Heat Wave here now. We'll go for Heat Wave. We are going to swap our Fluttermane. We're going to save it. We're going to go into Gargonackle. Gargonackle is a bit of a bulk, but honestly, like an Electro Drift, probably still KO in us. It just does damage. It does, does a lot of damage. A bit too much damage for a liking. They're going to save our Fluttermane. Fluttermane gonna be nice for later. He's gonna withdraw one Scott. Alright, so no Tailwind out here. That's wow, we could have just attacked. Going back into his Sinor here. They need to go back into his Sinor. Intimidate there. Fake out ready to go. He's gonna go for Volt Switch. He's pivoting out of here. Into the Gargonaut slot, which is fine. Not fine. You can't win my Gargonaut. I know its special defense isn't that high, but dude, Miraidon just hit so hard, right? Like what 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 Pokemon usually KOs Gargonackle with a not very with a with a neutral move, right? Nobody. And now Miraidon's out here doing it. So it's just tough. Let's see who they end up going into. I hope kinda like Wimscott comes back out here. I kinda do hope it's Wimscott, because then I get off a heat wave, but it's gonna be Ferrigraph, which is kind of annoying. Definitely kind of annoying. Who also has electric seeds. We probably should have brought Rillaboom here. With the terrain. Kind of get rid of that. Heat wave does some damage. Do we get any burns? No burns. Um, could just go back into Flutter Main. Yeah, might as well. Might as well go back into Flutter Main. So now we got Flutter Main here. I still can pop Shurken later if I want to. Uh, I think now would be the turn he would fake out. I'm gonna Terra and just go for Dazzling Gleams. Just send him now. 
Just send him. We'll go for the Azure Gleam. If you want to pop Trick him, you can pop Trick him. We'll go for Scorching Sand into Incineroar slot. Mm-mm-mm. This is tough. This is tough. So we use our tower here. We're going to put our little fairy gem on top of our head. Gargonacle is dead. We still have Calyx in the back end. Again, if I can pull off a Trick Room late game, it can turn the tides here. But right now, they're looking like a really good position. And I feel like we have to waste out maybe terrain turns. But they still have Gargonacle on the back end to set. Not Gargonacle. We ride on the set to terrain game. So we got to kind of force it onto the field here. But that's in game still chipping up some nice damage. Scorching Sand's going to fly here. He, goes, he chooses not to go for a fake out again. Are you going for a parting shot or a knockoff? You are going to go for a knockoff here, and you're going to take off my Assault Vest. Kind of hurts the soul. And Furgraph's just going to go for a Foul Play, which is fine here. We soak all day. That's not bad. That's not bad. So Dazzling Gleam will finish off. We'll finish off Furgraph here. So we're going to send it. And honestly, do we just go for, like, Flash Cannon here? In case they want to swap into... In case they want to swap into Whimsicott. There is a slight chance they swap into Whimsicott. I honestly think Flash Cannon and Heat Wave. Or Dazzling Gleam and Heat Wave can pick up the character. Actually, Flash Cannon and. We're going to go for Flash Cannon and Dazzling Gleam. Because honestly, if they swap into Whimsicott, there is a possibility for that. And if they don't, I think Flash Cannon and Dazzling Gleam should pick up the KO onto Incineroar. Unless you're rocking a berry. Now you're staying on the field here. You're staying on the field here. So, just, so Dazzling Gleam should finish off for Riggies. It does Flash Cannon. I don't know if we can KO here. This could be tough. Maybe we should have won for Scorching Sands. Flash Cannon, do your, do, do your job. Do your job. Finish this thing off. Let's go. Okay. So I was correct on that scene. But the good part here is we're forcing him to bring back out Mirida. Before the terrain ends, right? There should be one more turn left in terrain. So if I can waste out this terrain, this gives us a chance to actually set the Trick Room. Because Mirida's special attack isn't going to be so high. He's not doing so much damage with his electric moves. So now out comes Miraidon. Um, let's see how many turns are left in this terrain. And Wimscott is going to follow suit. Not bad so far. And let's see. One turn left terrain. One. That's that. See, see, that's big for us. That's big for us. Because now I can just protect you. And I can, could go for this Heat Wave, which I'm going to do. We're going to throw Heat Wave. We are just going to protect the Fluttermane. And then I can bring out the Calyrex. Because if Calyrex could set up the Trick Room, oh man, that'd be beautiful. That'd be beautiful. So out comes the Tailwind. Definitely scared of that. Definitely scared of that. And go into my Fluttermane, please. No, you're going to go into my Heatran. So Heatran dies out of this. Bye-bye, Heatran. Bye-bye, Heatran. See you later. Okay. So now he's sitting here with no terrain, which is good news. No terrain is very good news for us. Very, very good news for us. And the next terrain gone. So gone. Let's bring out Calyrex with 201 HP. You could have taunt. And honestly, you might have taunt. I'm not going to sit here and lie. You might have taunt. I might just attack. I might just attack. I might make the gutsy call and just attack here. I'm going to say you have taunt. I'm going to go right for you. And I'm going to go right into a Glacial Lance. I'm going to say you have taunt. I'm going to attack. I'm going to attack. Because what's the difference if I pop a Trick Room or attack? Either way, I'm going last, right? And if I land an attack, we should be fine here and win this game regardless. So, he's going to Encore me into... Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh, we don't like that. So, good thing I didn't use Trick Room. It's not Electro Drift going fire. Can I soak this at least and then get off of Glacial Lance? I do soak it. So, getting rid of the train's massive. Hold up. Wait a minute. I'm Encored in to Protect. Glacial Land's gonna fly here. Can this KO the Miraidon? And maybe no Sash? Sash. Okay. We KO the Miraidon. We got a crit on the Miraidon. I think it was KOing it regardless. Well, now we're sitting in a weird position where it's like... I'm Encored into Protect for Fluttermane. And it's tough to get out of. And if they can pick up a KO with Moonblast here... We, we lose. We're Encored into Protect. Because they could just keep us there and then keep going into the other move. Now, I could honestly just protect here and maybe waste out turns. But honestly, if I protect, he's just going to be forced to just bounce on course back and forth. So, I think I just have to attack here. So, let's see. We're forced to protect here. Can we soak a Moonblast? I don't think we're soaking a Moonblast. That's my problem here. That's my problem here. Yeah, maybe I should just protect it. That's it. We lose this, don't we? 
we lose this to a Sash Whimsicott with Encore? Come on, man. That ain't right. That ain't right. That ain't right. Yeah, maybe I should have protected there. No, because it still wouldn't have worked. Say I would have protected there. Then he would have been... If I would have protected that turn... Then I would have had one... It would have been one turn left in Encore. And I would have attacked that turn. He would have just Moonblast me that turn. And then put me in another Encore. So he's just going to sit here and just spam Encore. That's just exactly what he's going to do. He's just going to sit here and spam Encore. It's good plays on their end. Encore going crazy. That's exactly why... Another reason that Trickin would have been bad there, because say we would have Trickin, he would just Encore us in Trickin. The Moonblast is not doing any crazy damage. Is there any way I can bypass this Encore? I don't think so. Unless he... Unless we outspeed. Actually, no. Encore's Prankster. Oh, man. They're just going to hit it again. I think once Encore ends, you shouldn't be able to Encore again in the back-to-back in -back turns. That's just ridiculous. But, hey. It works well. Encore's such a good move. Is there any way... Is there any possible way I can win this match? I don't think so. I don't think so. They're just going to keep me in the soundcore. That's a great place by them. The Focus Sash coming in clutch. The Focus Sash. I'm trying to think. One. I just need one damage. I just need one damage. It sucks that you can't miss Encore. It sucks that you can't miss Encore. And you get like 500 of them, right? For your PP. You get like 500. I ended up landing a double protect, which is kind of funny. And my encore ends. So you're just going to have to put me back into another encore? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Encore me like crazy. Let's just protect again. Eventually, we run out of protect, and then we could struggle. Hold up. Hold up. I'm not giving up yet. I'm not giving up yet. I'm not giving up just yet. If we can land more double protects, we can eventually struggle out. Mm, I want to land a double protect. That would have been nice. Would have been nice to little double protect land. Moonblast going to fire. How much damage is doing? Mm, one more Moonblast. We can't survive. My Encore does end, though. My Encore does end. Encores me again. We just need to land double protects. That's the thing. We need to land double protects. Got five more to go. Five more to go. Four more to go. If I can land like a double protect here and then like another double protect, thing is we have to finish off Encore. We have to finish off the Encores. Go for a Tailwind here. Go for a Tailwind there. What was the point of going for Tailwind? We gotta land self-protect. We don't. That's game. Good game. Extra bind. So close to being able to struggle out here. So close. But I feel like they just went for a tailwind because they, they knew I was laying the protect there. But GG start opponent there. Coming down to one HP on Wimscott. Still love this team so much. We go two and one. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Killing it with Calyrex and Gargonackle in today's video. Honestly, I love this team. A little bit of off-meta action. Never hurt anybody. But still, 2-1. Gargonackle popping those salt gears. Doing constant damage. Calyrex popping Trick Room and doing its thing with Glacial Lands. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.